Well, hello and welcome to the service for the 19th of November, November, December 2021. As you might see, I'm starting to get into the festive season because nothing quite says Christmas like dancing turkeys. I'm Susan Cord and I'm Minister of Calernon and Not Being Churches on the Black Isle in the Highlands of Scotland. I hope you are able to join with me as we, together, in some ways, whether it's using your imagination or you're pausing this and going off and dressing up as one of the characters from the Nativity story, or you're just going with the flow with what we're doing today as we go through a nativity story with me not only narrating but probably acting some of the other characters but without actually changing my clothes so this will test your imagination more than my acting skills <laughs> There'll be a lot of booming in the story. A sound everyone in the room will make together. Okay, it's you and I, but we'll manage it. Whenever God some does something amazing, I will let you know when we're doing the word boom. Boom! 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 Just like out of nowhere, there was, there he was, an angel, and Mary was terrified. Maybe it was the suddenness of his arrival. Maybe it was the shock and surprise. Maybe because he was no fat baby with wings and a bright, shiny, otherworldly creature sent down from the throne of God. Or maybe it was more of what he said. Hello, favoured one. God is with you. Mary was simply a young woman from a little town called Nazareth in the region of Galilee. She never expected anything like this to happen to her. What did the angel mean? What was this all about? She was confused and troubled to say the least. And the angel Gabriel understood that. Don't be afraid. This is a good thing. God is pleased with you and wants to do an amazing thing for you. So here's what's going to happen. You will give birth to a son called Jesus. He will be great. In fact, he will be the Son of God. It was the promise. A promise to Eve that a child to crush the serpent's head. The promise to Abraham that through his family, God would one day bless the world. And the promise would finally come true. And it sounded amazing. But Mary had a very practical question. By the customs of the day, she was legally promised to be married to a man called Joseph. And they hadn't had the wedding yet. So she asked, quite rightly, I'm a virgin. How can I give birth to a son? And quite rightly, Gabriel, Gabriel gave her an answer. A mysterious answer, guaranteed to surprise her even further. God's Holy Spirit will come upon you. His power will overshadow you, so your son will be holy too. The Son of God. It sounds incredible, I know. But your cousin Elizabeth is having a baby. She's six months pregnant. In fact, and as you know, as well as past childbearing age, for God can do anything, even something everyone else says is impossible. Then let him do this impossible thing for me, and I will be his servant do. 
as he asked, said Mary. And with that, just as suddenly as he's come, the angel disappeared. So boom, boom, the angel was gone. And now we sing in the bleak midwinter. <laughs> 